Hi guys, Aussie Villain, and welcome to episode 68 of our first star challenge with Everton. And today we have a big, big game because our Champions League knockout round gets underway at home, the first leg against Lyon. We stumbled a little bit through the group stage, we didn't top the group, and now we have to, well, to be honest, Lyon as a group winner is not the worst we could have got. And then we'll play Huddersfield away from home. Now this looks like an easy game on paper, they're seventh in the league. So it's anything, anything but that. Now, just the one game since last episode where we snuck, what a win that was in the derby at Anfield. 92nd minute, Rafinha, absolutely loving that. We had the one game, it was against Southampton. Now, we've rotated for this game uh, ahead of Leon, and we got the win. We did really, really well. It was deserved win with the rotated team. Gomez and Selke, two early goals, job done there. You can see it was not as comfortable as you would perhaps have liked in the match stats. They were sort of having shots, but you can see from the player ratings, they, were, they weren't really threatening shots necessarily. Lafont played well, defence played well. Uh, ultimately, we got the job done, and that was the main thing. Now, we have a quick glance at the league table. We broke Liverpool because they went and they lost to Manchester United <laughs> in, the, in that last round of games as well. So suddenly, the gap's only five points. Um, and that's why that goal, that Rafinha goal, was so, so important. Because now they've slipped up again. Horrible week for Liverpool, wasn't it? Losing to Everton and Manchester United. Um, but with those back-to-back -back defeats, suddenly what looked to be a lost cause, it's five points. And it's very much title race back on. And we've also kicked clear of Arsenal. Um, so Champions League football for next year um, is looking as though that's going to be guaranteed for us as well. There's still a long way to go. We're what? We're February 8th. Um, so yes, yeah, still a long, long way to go there. Now, a few other bits of pieces to pick you up on. Uh, Digne did end up signing a new contract. When the transfer window closed, he decided that he that no offer came in. He was happy to stay. Um, so he's signed the new contract, which is good. And we have loaned out two of our youngsters. Uh, Gabe Wilson, we've loaned you out to Crew. Uh, they are League 2? League 2. Um, so you're going to play football there. We'll sort of keep an eye on how you're going, but you can see one game and already smashing that up. So that's fantastic. And we also lined Michael Stevens out to Wimbledon, um, AFC Wimbledon. Again, I think are they, are they might be are they League 2 or League 1. They're League 2 as well. Um, you should be starting. Why didn't you start that game? I'll have to work with the manager. Uh, the reason I've done that, guys, is because we're out of all the cups, uh, all the domestic cups, so you weren't realistically going to get any game time with with uh, with Everton. We'd only be the under-23, so I thought, let's send you out, get you some first-team football uh, for six months, and then we'll sort of come back and, and go again next year once we're back in domestic cups. Uh, so that's why I've done that. I hope that's okay with you guys. Um, but as I said, we will keep an eye on how you how you develop through the remaining months of this season. Uh, anything else we want to update you on? I don't necessarily think so. So let's have a look at the team we're sending out for this first game in the Champions League knockout phase against uh, against Lyon. Um, quick glance at the, sort of the match preview here. You can see we are the favourites for this one. Our form has rebounded a little bit, uh, which is good. They're a standard playing style, balanced mentality. Uh, and if we have a look at the analysis report, we will see that they uh, play a very, very, very high game, high press game, it looks like. Very high up the pitch. Uh, their passing network is there. Their key passes tend to be more in and around the box. Um, so what we're going to try and play a really high line. Now, where that could backfire is if, if they're, yeah, I'm not quite sure. But again, it's going to be sort of a clash of two things here. They want to push up the field. We want to keep them pinned back. So we'll have to wait and see how that plays out, hopefully in our favor. But this is the team that we're sending out. We are going for it a little bit. Um... So hopefully, you know, away goals obviously could hurt us, but I'm I'm hoping, I'm hoping we'll put in a good performance. So Lafont goes in goal. Uh, Tomon Digne is injured, which is why he isn't starting. It's nothing too serious. Uh, it's, well, it's a virus, so about a week or so he'll be back. So Tomon, Tart, Luis Felipe and Milo is a back four. Vitalon Canete in midfield, Rafinha, Vladzic and Bernard uh, in behind. Terry Cook, who is just his first choice striker now. Davy Selke has used up all his goodwill. He's not even on the bench. Traver's on the bench. Um, I'm just annoyed at him now. I know he's leaving. I feel like I've just... I've had that moment where, like, you see a flaw in someone and then I, I just can't get past it. The relationship's over, um, basically. <laughs> so there we go. Uh, what does Klung say here? He says, go out there and prove a point. I'm going to say, let's let's go out there and can we do it for the fans today? Let's give these fans a performance. Uh, some calm, we have faith. And let's go. Hopefully, this will not be the last time we hear the Champions League anthem at Goodison Park this season. Um, yeah, like I said, I think considering we didn't top the group, you know, to get Leon, I mean, they're not a good, they're not an easy team by any means. They, you know, they have a really good academy, some really good young players. Um, this is not really what we wanted to do to start. Oh, 16 friggin' seconds, and we're a goal down. What is that? From the friggin' kickoff. Unbelievable! What what have we done there? We just have, Lewis Felipe has just not gone with his man whatsoever. 
that is not the start that we needed. Let's give it a concentrate so early in the game. Um, all right, can we bounce back from that nice and quickly here, please, boys? Uh, yeah, we've kind of used up all our goodwill, haven't we? Very early on there. We cannot afford a second away goal. Milo, it's not the best cross. He had men all around him. Are we exploiting the flanks here? We shouldn't be. No, we're not. Okay. Um... I'm wondering if we maybe need to look to exploit the middle. Witzel should get to that. It's there for Vladic. Tackled away. And we are... We're looking... This is not good, is it? Um, come on, boys. 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 Oh, my God. Go away. Go away. Go away. Come on. Um, all right. So, defensively, this isn't working. Let's tighten up the lines a little bit here. Um... Yeah. Let's give it a get creative here when we can. Here's a chance for Rafinha, hero of last episode. It's on target, but easy for the keeper. In the end, he's just he's just caught that casually. Um, nothing to see there. Is this the end of the highlight? Witzel goes back to Lafont. It's not the best back pass you've ever seen, is it? Making Lafont work for that one. Lafont's come a long way just to lay it off to Tar. Fitzel infield for Vladzic. What is, what is that, Vladzic? What is that? He had an easy pass to Kanente, who was standing next to him with all the space in the world. And we are throwing this away yet again. Oh, it's a lucky escape. Boys. Boys. Come on. I should have gone with Stark instead of Felipe in central of defense, it looks like. Uh, it was a tight decision. I essentially flipped the coin, but... Uh, Felipe is not looking like he wants to be here right now. Apprehensive. Um, all right, from the corner, what can we do? Canente knocks it in. It's a decent enough ball. He's going to get a second chance at this. Man at the edge of the area here. He finds Rafinha in for Vladzic. Nice ball for Witzel. Have a shot, mate. Just have a shot. There it is. Witzel off the post. Oh, is it going to be one of those days? Come on, boys. Get creative. Bernard's looking nervous. Uh, maybe we shouldn't have been saying to do it for the fans. Maybe we should have said, I expect a win. Uh, all right, here we go again. Rafinha, ball into the box. It's there! It's the bar from Witzel. We, we're coming back into it. I mean, that's that's a good thing. Um, the bad thing is that we've, we, we haven't played well. We haven't played well at all. Uh, we're down and away goal as well, which is... Really, really not good. Um, we'll get aggressive. We expect to see more. Let's go back out here, boys. Come on. Last season, we were so good at Goodison, weren't we? And then that, that's essentially where we were winning ties. And we're, you know, needless to say, we're not winning this tie right now. Here goes Vladzic. Back for Witzel. Witzel for Tar. And that's the end of the kickoff highlight. Not as good as their kickoff highlight in the first half, but you know, we'll have to take it, won't we? Come on, boys. Let's win this calmly. We don't need to head that ball tar. Relax. Use your friggin' brain and just bring it down. Here we go again. Here we go again. Come on, boys. Come on. What are we doing? What are we doing? Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, don't let him do that. Lafont's easy in the end for him to gather. Let's... Um... Let's just be more expressive. We need to we need to try and go at this a little bit more, don't we? Uh, let's attack with a little bit more width. Um, yeah, we'll go with that. Is that the highlight? It is the highlight. I mean, we're looking... Essentially, we're looking motivated. We're looking okay. Show some passion here, boys. Come on. Um... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call this on Bernard, I think. Bernard's another one that this season is just... Just pushing the friendship a little bit too far... Um, yeah, let's give it a, we'll wait and see what comes of this. It's a little bit like the Atletico Madrid game at Goodison, isn't it? It, it feels like it's doom and gloom. We're only a goal down, a goal back and it's tied. And then, you know, you never know what happens in the second leg, but we don't look good right now. Here goes Rakalsson in for Vladzic. Look at the space in here. Look at the space in here. There's no one. There's no one going into that space. Uh, we've got a number. Fletcher's number ten. Here you go. Anyway, Milo. Just wondering what we can do to try and exploit that space that's in there. I'm wondering if we. It's a ball. Four. I don't. I don't know what's wrong with us. I don't know what's wrong with us. Co uh, concentrate, boys. Um, all right, we're gonna take off. 
I've had enough of, of uh, Felipe. I, I, I'm, apparently, I'm not in a good mood today. I've had enough of Cook. Let's let's see if the if we'll just get nervous bad players off the field. See if that makes a difference. Rafinha, oh, that's decent. Is it? It's a goal kick. So just over the bar. We need to go attacking. Um, what can we say here? What can we say? Show we've already done. Show some passion. That didn't really do much, did it? Um, all right, win that ball, please. Thank you, Mr. Stark. That's a start. Can we go back? Rafinha's tracking back well. All right, this is looking better now, boys. This is this is a good highlight so far. In for Vladzic. I don't... Oh, come on, boys. Come on, boys. Come on. What's Rafinha? You've got to push on, mate. Don't stand there. And, um, come on. This is becoming a long old highlight. Can we nick this, please? And thank you. Um, come on. Win that. Win that. Win that. It's right there to win. There you go. Thank you, Vitzel. But Carlson turns into space. Can he pick out a cross into the box now? Turvo is there. It's ricocheted out for Vladzic. It's the Garden There we go. There we go. That's more like it. A little bit of luck. It sort of bounced around and eventually it found its way to an Everton player in some load of space. And we put it in the back of the net. Finally, finally, finally. More of that, please, boys. Carlson did so well. So well, Vladzic just took off a touch, one too many almost, a heavy touch there, but Canente, no mistakes there, that's Canente back to his best, third goal of the year for him, and let's go on now and let's do something here, Vladzic just not looking in the best condition there if we're honest, um, come on, let's go and win this now please boys, let's go win this, um, as things stand obviously we would need to go and get an away goal at their place, it's, it's, that's doable I guess, um, Oh, this would be bad. This would be really, really bad. It's over the bar. That's fine. That's horrible. But let me know what you think in the comments. It wasn't a good performance. Overall, you know, it looks like we've maybe just shaded it. So perhaps we're a little bit unlucky. Um, but, yeah, I don't... We didn't play well, did we? Look at... Milos has an absolute nightmare. Um, that wasn't good enough today, boys. So there we go. We rescue a late draw. We just about got away with sort of the bare minimum there, didn't we? Uh, the France boss is looking at half our team. Well, not half our team, but two of our Frenchmen anyway. Guys, wait right there. It's Huddersfield away next in the league. Can we keep the pressure up on Liverpool? Okay, welcome back. It's time to put that Champions League, not disappointment, but disappointment behind us. And need to yeah, put the pressure back on Liverpool here in the league. You can see we are the favourites for this one. Um... They're sitting up there in seventh, as I said at the start of the episode. They're, it's not the easiest game. You know, Huddersfield isn't as what you would expect Huddersfield to be. They're a good team. Uh, they're a standard playing style. They're adventurous. Eddie Howe is the manager, uh, which is perhaps why they are sitting where they are. You can see that's kind of the way we're expecting them to play. Um, positional heat map there. You can see maybe in behind their fullbacks, you could get some love. Uh, that's their passing network. Key passes, not too many of them there, but they did lose this game to Chelsea. So... You know, we'll see how we go. This is the team we're sending out. Uh, now, some bad injury news for us. If anything else could go wrong this year, it's it's going to happen, isn't it? Because Terry Cook, our most consistent goal scorer, certainly goals in, uh, per game, uh, ten, seven to ten weeks. About two months he's going to be gone for. Not quite a season ender, but certainly uh, not the time we wanted that. So this is the team we're sending out. It's Lafonte in goal. Ty Montart, uh, Luis Felipe and Malou will keep that back four together. Fresh legs in midfield. Berg and Davies come in. Rafinha continues down the right along with uh, Gomez. And Lookman, who come into the team with Davy Selgate, he's disappointing me. But he is—he does still have eight goals this year. He's our second or second top goal scorer. If you, you know, he's played more games, but as many goals as Cook. So we'll go with him and see what we can do. So they're actually spun a little bit of a surprise here. A little bit more defensive. Jack Grealish, Super Jack, don't have a good game today. Please save it for Villa. Um, what do we say to this? Expected to prove a point. Um, Sure. Uh, go out there. Play your natural game. The result will come. Just relax, boys. Just relax into the game. You're the better team. We're playing well. We're in a title race once again. Don't throw it away. And here we go. Um, yeah, it would be... It. Having put ourselves in this position where, you know, Liverpool have now slipped up. We've beaten them. United's beaten them. We're back in this title race. What we don't want to do is, is go out now and, and sort of almost throw it away again you know five points becomes eight obviously if we lose and they win um and then that's that that becomes problematic again all right here's Malo with a throw it's one there by Grealish just as far as Davies though for Berg what can he do it's patient I don't mind it as long as we don't give it away in for Gomez 
in back for Berg. We've got a little bit of space out here. There's a little bit of space in the middle here as well. Here goes Lookman, turns into space. Lookman, oh, that's a stunning goal from Adam Ola Lookman, his third of the year. That is Bernard-esque. That's what we expect from Bernard. Bernard hasn't been delivering. We've given Lookman a chance, and he has taken it. What a goal from Adam Ola Lookman. Look at this. He just pulled into space, pulled into space, turned... Dribbled past three, got a sighted goal and never looked back. Excellent, excellent stuff by Lookman. Wonderful, wonderful goal. Uh, so that gives us a little bit of a platform here to build on. Now the way that they're sort of set up, you do wonder if that first goal is going to be the important one. Um, let's give it a get creative. Let's keep this going, please, boys. We're doing okay here. They are just attacking down the flanks, aren't they? That's all they really have to offer. There's nothing through the middle for them. Um... Which is a little bit surprising, perhaps, given that uh, you know they've got three men in the mid in midfield there. Uh, there's a oh, they sort of changed their approach now. It looks like a little bit um, not a classic, I would add here. But if we can get into the break at one nil, we will take that and run. Uh, it might be a case of we've done okay. Look at that. we're done with any possession. They haven't had a shot on target yet. It might be a case of an assertive something. I think here. Um, um, do I say I'm not? I thought that I'm not pleased. Um, don't let don't let performance levels drop. We'll go with that. Taimon is match fatigued. Uh, now I, because Digne's injured, and I did sell Lewis Gibson to Villa for about a million pounds. I think it was. I think his contract was up at the end of the year anyway, um, so we weren't necessarily going to be renewing that. So to get it was just under a million. I think I can't remember if there were add-ons. I think it was seven hundred and seventy-five grand plus that. And I don't. I think there were add-ons, but I can't remember. Um, so yeah, so we've sold him, which means we don't really have another left back. We have some promising youngsters uh, in the under twenty-threes, but we don't really have anybody else. So after this game, we've got a week's break, and then I think it's Manchester United, which is a massive game again. Um, so it should be fine. We'll give him some time off training during the week and just make sure that he's uh, fit, ready to go. Um, ball in behind us there. Tar gets to that relatively comfortably. Back for Lafont. Uh, he's going a long way there, but he does... Ugh, not quite the good ball, but Davy should pick that up. In for Gomez. Can we get him behind their fullbacks there? We can. Milo's got a stunning run forward. Crosses it in. Selke there for Lookman again! Hey! Two goals! But Adamola Lookman, that was a really, really good goal, actually. Uh, what we might look to do now is we might just look to be a little bit more disciplined. Uh, and I might also... I'm wondering now if we if we sit our fullbacks. We don't need them bombing on. That's a stunning run, though, isn't it, from Milo? Well picked out. And then he delivers the cross in. It was maybe a little bit of luck. The header fell its way. Uh, it didn't go out. It didn't manage to just about find its way across to Lookman. Milo's been robbed of an assist there. The fact that the defender sort of got a tiniest of little hits on the ball... Um, but yeah, we'll take that, won't we? Let's sit these guys back a little bit now. We need to be a little bit more sensible. I do wonder if we, uh, conservative up our midfield a little bit here as well. Um, no, things are going okay. There's no point changing our shape if, if we're doing okay. I'm wondering if we drop Berg back into a number six and then Sergio Gomez back into, into midfield. Uh, don't play the number 10. Um, but like I say, they're not creating anything. They don't necessarily look like scoring right now, as I've jinxed that horribly. But I don't really see a need to change our shape. Here goes uh, Gomez for Davies, for Rafinha, back for Berg. There is a lot of space out wide for us, isn't there? Um, but again, just sitting, keeping those fullbacks back which will hopefully mean that we're not going to do anything silly and, and get caught out. Um Oh, that's a, not a good pass. We need to we need to use them more though. There, don't we? I wonder if we should put them to support because uh, that almost held us back there, didn't it? On that attack, are we going to get and pay a price for that now? Cross comes in. Oh, we are going to pay a price. That's not good. Um, let's show some passion. Let's keep that the same. What I want to go to here, don't I? Let's maybe put them on support. Um, we'll do that. Actually, you know what? I did want to change. I wanted to put it to. Um, exploit the flanks didn't I yeah we just got caught out in the end we did get caught out through the middle yeah just both central defenders very very slow to respond there uh, no I want this one and we'll look to exploit the flanks we'll still look to be more disciplined just pick our moments to get forward a little bit better 
Um, Selke is not having a good game, is he? Let's get him off. Um, I don't know why I bothered with him, to be honest. We should have just gone with Travaux. Travaux is the future. Um, Rafinha's not having the best game either, to be fair, but we'll stick with him. Uh, that's all fine. 15 minutes. It's nervous, and it shouldn't have been nervous. We got to into a position where we were looking good, and we've given them a way back into the game. Um, all right, let's start and maybe just close this thing down a little bit. Uh, it always annoys me when I do this and then they go and score, but <laughs> let's, let's hope that doesn't happen. Um, oh, come on, boys. Away. Oh, it's bouncing around and we've got away with that. Here goes Travo. Can he lead us on the counter-attack here? He's done well there. Can he go again? Go on, Travo. Oh, he's laid it off. Why are you doing that? Rafinha. Rafinha gets in the penalty area. Back for Travo for Lookman on the hat-trick and he gets the hat-trick. We've judged that Travo's injured. That's not good, actually. That's another striker down. That means we'll have to play Selke again. <laughs> oh, hopefully it's not serious. Travo did so, so well. I don't know why he laid that off, to be honest. Um, but this tackle that's come in has clearly hurt him. And, yeah, Lookman's done okay at the back post there. Let's throw out a concentrate. Let's not go and give them another way back into this game. Um, what can we do here? We will bring on... Vladzic can play up top. Uh, he's the only real option, isn't it? Or do we just throw Bernard up there? We'll just put Vladzic up there. That's fine. Um, it's only, what? It's only a couple of minutes to go. So there we go. That's fine. And this should now be not as easy as it should have been. I mean, really, it's, it's been a tight game, hasn't it? They've not given us many chances. They are, they are quite a good team, aren't they? We... I don't think, I think they were a little bit maybe set up too conservatively. We saw what they did against Chelsea. You wonder if, they, I mean, if they opened up more against us, maybe we would have uh, had more space and we could have scored more goals. Um, let's just see this out here, boys. And we are two minutes over. There it is. That keeps us alive in the title race. Uh, we don't drop any any points. Hopefully, Liverpool might drop a few more. Um, we'll have to kind of wait and see on that one. I'm, I'm relatively happy with that, actually. Lookman with the hat trick, the new Bernard, the Travaux injury, it's serious. Oh, it's a broken leg. Oh, that is, that's not, I mean, it, it's season ending. He'll be back for next season. You just worry about his development, perhaps. Um, just come back fighting, that's all we ask of you, mate. Yeah, I mean, the, hmm, the problem with that, a little bit, what was the clause there? 20 league goals, that's fine, it's not much money. Um, well done in front of goal. I mean, it kind of it means we have to play we have to play Selkie now till till Terry Cook comes back. We have we have options. We do I mean we have this Fraser guy uh that's only really played a game or two. We have this Alex that I bought in the January transfer window. He's not really ready yet. We can he's twenties. How much more ready is he gonna be, I guess? We can give him a game. He looks a bad buy now, I look at him. <laughs> he doesn't look a good signing at all. We have Aaron Hampson as well. I mean, he's only young. He's 16. He's not maybe from the bench, but he's not one to start yet. Calvert Lewin, he might be the one actually. I wonder if he gets. Let me know what you think in the comments. I wonder if we give him the chance to start. He's never let us down, has he? Let's do that. Um, let's give Calvert Lewin. I think. Let, as I said, let me know what you think in the comments. But I'm wondering, Calvert Lewin gets the gets the chance first up, and then we might look at. Well, we'll see where we go from there. But anyway, guys, that is it for today's episode. If you have enjoyed that, do make sure you hit thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, make sure you subscribe and ring the bell if you want to know when I upload new episodes. And we'll be back next time. Um, the game against Manchester United at home is a big one. Um, but I, it's, I kind of want to focus on the Champions League, I think. So we might come back. We'll end off February with Ipswich at home. Uh, that should hopefully be a comfortable three points. We'll rotate heavily. And then we go to Leon needing a win. Uh, essentially, or a 2-2 draw or better um, to make sure we go through to the quarterfinals. That's all for next time, guys. I've been Aussie Villain. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.